Hello YouTube, uh, my name is BabyJace and I'm going to teach you how to set up the UI that you see in front of you. I've been getting a lot of requests to set up this UI and the main reason why it has not shown up yet is because I've been pretty lazy and, and busy. But uh, this is my newest UI that I have been using. I, uh, I will have a video for my old UI. I just need to do that at a later time. It's a little more complicated in setting up because the author of that UI doesn't believe in profiles. I don't know why. Anyways, this UI is pretty simple to set up. It's very simple. I like it. I like it a bit more than the other UI, but uh, you know, it's up to you which one you want to use. For uh, But for this UI, you're going to want to go to the comments and download the zip file and unzip it. There's many free programs online that you can use to unzip uh, files, so just choose any of them. It doesn't matter. Then you're going to go on your computer and find your wherever your WoW folder is located. The, the default location is going to be on your C drive and your like program files 86 or something like that. And just called the World of Warcraft. You're going to go into your World of Warcraft file and then you're going to go to your, your WTF file and click on that. And then you're going to click on whatever your account name is. So you're going to click on whatever account name you have and then you're going to see all the realms that you play on and then a folder called saved variables you're going to click on that saved variables folder and you should see a bunch of files with um, the name of your add-ons so you're going to go back to the zip folder that you have unzipped and you're going to take the saved variables uh, folder that you see in there and open that and you're going to copy paste all of the files located inside that folder into the saved variables folder in your wow now this will allow you to just select my profile, Baby Jace Kill Jaden. You're just gonna select that as the profile whenever you're setting up the UI. It's very simple. So once you've done that, you're going to go back to your World of Warcraft folder, and then now you're gonna go double click on Interface and then Add-ons. Once you've done that, just copy paste all of the folders that are in the zip file that you downloaded and just copy paste those into your World of Warcraft uh, interface and then add-on folder and those will be all the add-ons that I currently use now if you wanna uh, keep up to date on these add-ons you can use curse it, they should automatically be loaded up into curse from here on out um, but I'm not 100% I'm not positive on that now for the actual setting up of the UI, it's pretty simple. There's a few basic commands that you're going to want to know. Uh, forward slash move UI allows you to move any bars wherever. So if you don't like exactly where I have my bars, you can change them to anywhere. So just customize it to however you feel like customizing it. Just move UI to get out of that. To set up tell me wins, you're just going to do forward slash TMW and should have all my tell me wins, diseases, soul reaper. Soul Reaper icon shows up at 35% if you're Frost and Blood, 45 if you're Unholy, Blood Tap icon tracker for your Blood Tap charges, all the different uh, abilities that you use, and then for Weak Auras, here's all the, the buffs that you get, all the, you know, Vamp Blood, Icebound, Pillar, and these are the procs, Trinket procs, Weapon procs, stuff like that. These are for bosses, you can ignore those if, if you want, you can delete them, it's up to, up to you. This is for PvP, I don't know why I have that still there. You can just go ahead and delete that too if you want. But um, for the most part, these are my these are my weak ores. These are my tell me wins. They're pretty easy to set up. For some reason, if you don't have tell me wins showing, you're just gonna click on any of the icons. It doesn't matter, and you're gonna click on import, export, restore, and you're gonna import from profile, and then you're gonna go to Baby Jace Kill Jaden. Should be here yet, Baby Jace Kill Jaden. You're just gonna Copy profile overwrite, and uh, that should be it for that. The weak ores should be there automatically. I'm not certain on weak ores though. I'm not. I'm not too big of a fan of weak ores, and I only really use it for raid, for raid um, debuffs and stuff like that. But if the weak ores isn't showing or if it's not working, I'll also add into the comments a file that just has my weak or string so you can just copy those it's very easy to do for uh for the rune bar here you're just going to do forward slash mr and it's going to bring up the runes 
all all the settings. You just again profile, baby Jace kill Jaden. And that's pretty much it. Like the UI is not hard to set up. It's actually very easy to set up. And you can again customize it however you want. Um, oh, one last thing. If you want to change the UI itself, you just port slash EC and that'll bring up the LVUI thing and you can just change whatever here. I believe in LVUI you go to profiles and then you hit mm, skull flower or maybe not. Maybe you do forward slash skull. All right, you do to set up the UI itself, you do forward slash skull and that'll bring up skull flowers UI. You just install it and you can install whatever you want to install, set it up however you want to and set it up. I don't actually think you need to do this. So only do this if it's not set up the way I have it because it'll set up the way he has it. So again, just only do this if you want to change something. And that's about it. That's it for the UI. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the, uh, on, the, on the video and I will try to help you with uh, any questions you may have. And if I need to, I will upload a new video if I, if I messed up really, really bad. But uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy the UI, and I hope you enjoy rating with it.